Hey guys, it's Soch here, back on the video today. So today I'm going to be doing some browser wars. So we're going to be doing Brave versus Vivaldi. So as you see on the left, I've got Brave. And on the right, I've got Vivaldi. These are the standard editions. They're not the beta or the canary or anything like that. They're just uh, Brave and Vivaldi. So we're going to be doing speed and then features, usability and memory usage. So let's get started with the speed. Both of these browsers have had their cache and history cleaned, so they should be at the best speed that they can possibly be. So I'm just going to open up YouTube on the Brave browser. Okay, let's go ahead and open up YouTube on the Vivaldi browser. Okay, so pretty much kind of the same there. Let's try CNN. fast quite fast as well uh, let's try twitch okay it did seem like uh, twitch was a little bit faster on Vivaldi there let's go up to eBay very similar Wikipedia. Instant there and Steam. And uh, yeah, so the browsers pretty much are kind of similar in, in terms of their speed. Uh, Vivaldi and Brave both use Chromium, so that's probably why you're seeing uh, similar speeds there. And yeah, so very similar in speeds. I don't really notice that much of a difference between the speeds. It might be a like less than a millisecond it's not it's not a lot but yeah let's get right into the features so on the brave browser it's just the basic browser you've got your bookmarks here your url your tab it's pretty simple let's go into settings so we can uh make profiles on here import bookmarks uh we can continue where we left off and stuff like that change the new tab page we have appearance here so we can customize the appearance pretty basic features that you'll find in most browsers, we also have vertical tabs, so you can enable that if you want vertical tabs. And we can show memory usage on tab hover preview card. A couple features in here that you can use. There's the VPN as well, because this browser does support VPN. The Brave browser actually allows you, it ha does have shields up for trackers, ads, and other stuff. So you can use that here. The Vivaldi browser also has that as well built in. I think you have to go into the settings to see that, but that's there. Uh, you also have the earn tokens for private ads, so you can make money kind of when you're browsing. And yeah, let's go back up to settings. We have content. Uh, these are all the settings that you'll get in Chrome as well. Shield, upgrade connection to HTTPS, block scripts, block fingerprinting. All this stuff. So there's a lot of privacy features within Brave. A lot of features here as well. Web free, like most people aren't going to use any of these features though. So if you're just looking for a fast browser, uh, most people like you probably aren't going to look at these features, but you can have the default search engine So it's on Google right now improved search suggestions and a whole lot of other stuff extensions as well uh, Stuff in here that you probably won't use web torrent. I'd recommend that you use uh, uh, Qubit torrent rather than web torrent because web torrent is just kind of a hassle uh, I think that's on by default so you'd probably disable that if you torrent autofill languages downloads system so we can enable graphics acceleration uses the gpu all of this stuff is just basically in the browser by itself obviously there's a lot more features than chrome but yeah there's a ton of features in here most people won't use them we can also enable wire guide protocol in brave vpn which is pretty cool and we also have the memory saver as well we can free up memory so it'll make tabs go to sleep this is in you can get this in vivaldi as well and also reset settings. So that's the features on the Brave browser. Let's go over to the Vivaldi browser. So on the Vivaldi, you have the ability to create profiles and you're also able to have a Vivaldi account so that you can sync all of your uh, bookmarks, history and extensions and everything with that. So if you move to a different computer, you just log in and it will sync all of that right there. So if you go over to settings, so this is for Vivaldi, we can uh, start up last session, all of the stuff you can get in Brave, uh, sync, which is here. Appearance, we can make it light or dark uh, for the website appearance. And there's a couple of things that you can also change the user interface size. So I can increase the user interface if I want. You can't do that in Brave. Show status bar, so you can enable the status bar there. Menu position, you can change that. 
and also the value icon or menu, menu icon there as well. So the value does have quite a few more customization features. Themes, you got a ton of themes here. Asuna, hot pink, human, and you can also get more if you go into the themes here. Obviously the Brave browser will use the Chromium themes, but the Vivaldi one has its own themes, which you can see here. You can get your own themes here uh, from the Vivaldi theme store, which is all free by the way. Uh, that's, so that's the same as the Chromium store. Start page, you can customize these things here. Tabs, so you can do left, right, bottom, pretty cool. And you can also change the active tab minimum width as well. You can also change the page load progress as well. So you can change it to a progress. So if I load up YouTube, it's like a, a wheel. And you also have the spinner as well. So that's going back to Firefox days, which is pretty cool. And none if you want, and then just back to progress bar. Panel, you can select where you want the panel to be. Uh, and there's, there's a ton of features in here. Again, not most people aren't gonna use these features, but they are there if you want to use them as well. Uh, so yeah, kind of features in here, bookmark, search, uh, very similar to Brave, but there are a couple things that are also new in Vivaldi that you can't do in Brave. Privacy and security, so you have a couple things here, ask websites not to track me, which you can also do in Brave, uh, block ads on abusive sites, all kind of things. You can also have the browsing history delete after a certain amount of time. And you also have trackers and blocking, so block trackers and ads. Again, we could do that in Brave as well. That's there. And downloads, you can choose the download location. And you can notify and complete download and such. And save files as default location. So this is cool. You can enable that if you want to just save straight away to downloads, or you can have it so that it will open up and choose you where you can uh, choose yourself where to save the item. Web pages again. A lot of these features you don't need. Mail, calendar, feeds. These are all stuff that are offered by Vivaldi. But again, ton of features in here. Lots of stuff that aren't people aren't going to use. But yeah, that's the features usability. Both browsers are very similar, so they're pretty much like any other browser that you would use. You have your tabs up here, your URL bar, and your bookmarks. Same with Vivaldi. Usability wise, I don't see any issues with both of them. They're both very easy to use. Uh, I don't think that they're gonna, gonna need you to be tech savvy to understand how to use them because they're very similar to other browsers like Chrome and Firefox and other browsers like that. Uh, but yeah, so memory usage. So if we open up, so currently I have YouTube open. Let's keep YouTube open real quick. Let's go ahead and check the memory usage. So if we go over here and go to Task Manager, we should be able to see uh, how much memory we're using. Actually, we'll go over to Task Manager real quick on the Windows real quick. So if I go over here. Okay, so right now Brave is using 706 megabytes, just about that point here. And Vivaldi is using 581. So just having YouTube open, it seems that Vivaldi is using a little bit less memory than Brave. If we open up all the rest of the things here, I've got these all open. Let's see now. So yeah, it's pretty similar. Brave browser is using about an extra 100 megabytes than Vivaldi. Not going to be very much of a difference really if you're if you've got enough memory, like 16 gigs or so, you won't really notice that. Uh, but yeah, 100 megabytes or so extra on Brave than there is on Vivaldi. And yeah. So that's pretty much all of the things that I could go over right now. So we've gone over the speed, the features, the usability, and the memory usage. So, so far, both browsers are pretty much the same. It may be that Brave might appear faster in terms of the UI than, than Vivaldi, but they're both pretty much in the same territory in terms of speed. Uh, it might just be how you perceive it, because Vivaldi can seem a bit slower but it is the same speed as, as Brave. So I'd recommend that you use whichever one you want, whichever one that you feel comfortable with. Like I've said, both browsers are pretty much the same. There's not much difference between them. Speed wise, they're both the same pretty much. So yeah, use whichever browser that you want. And yeah, that's the browser wars between Brave and Vivaldi. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video when that will come out. So see, see you guys. Hey guys, it's Soji here, back with a video today. So today I'm going to be doing a... No, try again.